Hi guys, welcome to Cooking in Manhattan. It's pie season out there and I want you to take advantage of the beautiful produce that you can see at the market by teaching you how to make a great flaky pie crust. Let's take a look at the ingredients for the flakiest pie crust. I have one cup of all-purpose flour and one cup of whole wheat flour. You can do two cups of either, but I really like mixing the two together because it creates a great texture. 12 tablespoons of sweet butter. This is about one and a half sticks of sweet butter. Then we have one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of kosher salt. And finally, half a cup of ice water. We won't necessarily use all of it and I will show you how I incorporate it in the mixture. We only use it to make the pie crust stick together. So let's get cooking. I incorporated all the dry ingredients together. So in this bowl now we have one cup of whole wheat flour, one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of kosher salt. I'll give it a quick stir so they all incorporate together and then I will start uh, adding the butter. It should be fine. Okay. Oops, sorry guys. And now let's add the cold butter. Here we go. I'll start stirring and then uh, when the butter finally gets to pea size shape, um, I will actually uh, start mixing a little bit faster. We have stirred the cold butter into the dry ingredients and now it's pea size. So we are ready to add a little bit at a time the ice cold water so that the pie crust will come together. So let's start like this. Just a few drops and then we keep stirring. The pie crust is definitely coming together. I'll add a little bit more water. You don't want to add all the water at once because you don't know how humid your flour really is. So you might not need all the half cup of, of water. So let's give it another quick stir. This is the way your pie crust should look when it's finally coagulating. You don't want the texture to be too even because you want some flecks of butter that are not perfectly incorpor incorporated so that they will create the flakiness in your crust. I'll stick this into the fridge and then in about 45 minutes, we will be ready to roll it out. The pie crust is now cold. I sprinkled on my uh, flat surface a little bit of all-purpose flour. I'm going to just net this a little bit more, like this, so that the cold surface of the uh, of the pie crust actually warms up a little bit and then with my rolling pin I'm going to start rolling. This is one of my favorite workouts actually. You don't want to put too much flour uh, otherwise you actually might uh, might make it a little bit, might make the pie crust a little bit uh, too thick which is something that you don't want. I don't know if you can see it but you can still see flax of butter that are completely unincorporated and they will create the flakiness, the real flakiness of this uh, pie crust. Of course you can also make it uh, by hand if you have a little bit more time but I like the concept of making it in a, uh, with a little bit of machine power so that I don't have to uh, waste too much time with it. This should yield about two discs uh, that are nine inch wide. Um, I really like to blind make, bake my, uh, my pie crust before I put the filling in so I know it's perfectly crispy. Uh, but you might want to try uh, also to put the filling already in and then stick it in the oven. 
it's a very easy pie crust and I hope you enjoy making it um, and I hope you will make it for your summer pies. I will see you again on the next Cooking in Manhattan. Ciao! Here is the way our pie crust looks in a pie dish. I'll bake this, I'll blind bake this and then I will make it into a blueberry pie.